Right, here's a quick tutorial video. This is a Mitsubishi uh, Shogun 3.5 V6 GDI petrol, obviously. And I got a fault come up on the computer saying that the number three cylinder was misfiring. Now it's a V6, but what I found out, and it's very hard to find out, the cylinder configuration. Now, this is number one. The right hand side then jumps across number two and then the centre one on the left, looking at the car, is number three. Then it goes four, five, six. So this is the fault, this number three cylinder here, which I'm hoping it's going to be the spark plugs. But to do that, it's a nightmare of a job. You have to take off the throttle body. So I'm going to take the air filter and the airflow meter off and the housing, and I'm going to unbolt the throttle body and I'm going to be able to get access to the coil packs and to the spark plugs which are down quite deep which is a 14mm plug spanner so uh, I'll come back to you in a minute when I've undone this uh, throttle body and I'll take another picture okay thanks right just a quick update um, I had to grind this socket spanner down if you look down there there's probably only about two two and a half mil left of the actual socket but it was so thin as to say you can see i ground it right down with a scurfing disc on there and that's because the holes are really really small and for some reason <coughs> the uh, valve cover top doesn't really line up very well with the head and the gasket on there as well can sometimes overlap so you don't get a clear sort of round hole in the actual uh, sleeve where these spark plugs are. So what I did, I ground it right down and I stuffed paper in the actual uh, connection between the extension bar and the spark plug spanner because you need a really tight fit. And like I did the first time, as I pulled it out, it caught the lip on the top of the valve cover and it dropped down and it was a nightmare to get out. So that's what you need to do and make sure you get it nice and smooth and it doesn't catch and then it should come out I'll just give you an update now on the car what I've done I have pulled the throttle body off on the left hand bank and hopefully I can find the problem on the third cylinder which the fault code come up here's the throttle body it was four 12 mil bolts you can see one two three four there and this was filthy inside it was black as you like so maybe I've got another problem whether it's an O2 sensor or some other sensors making it real rich but it was black a chimney sweep would have had a struggle getting in there so as you can see I can now get to these left bank of coil packs and plugs I might have to take this uh, link up pipe from the exhaust to the back of the EGR valve off I don't know but say so hopefully I can pull the coil packs off get the plugs off change them and as I say, this number three was showing up as a fault on the uh, engine management code. So I'm going to take this core pack off, swap it with, say, number two over that side, the first one near the front and right hand side. And I'm going to, say, change the plugs anyway. But if this was a faulty core pack, it's a lot easier to change rather than taking the uh, throttle body off. And you've got two water hoses as well, got in the throttle body. so pull them off carefully they were stuck on there quite hard and there will be a little bit of water coming up so remember to top that up when you put it back together right I'll give you an update when I get it back together and I'll let you know if it solved the problem with just the plugs okay bye right we follow up video regarding uh, changing the spark plugs and the three number three cylinder having a misfire I took out the three uh, spark plugs on the right hand bank of the engine which was easy to get to and I took off the throttle body which you can see pictured on there which wasn't too bad actually to get off I didn't need to take off the uh, I presume it goes down the exhaust gas resuscitate EGR valve or whatever going from there to the manifold that could stay on there but there was a gasket in between the throttle body which was like an aluminium plate with a rubber uh, face on it so that was really easy to come off and it went back quite easy as well I just smeared a little bit of uh, grease around just to seal it but there's no problem at all I wouldn't even bother getting a new gasket for that so that come off quite easy it was 
very carboned up in there so I took the time to scrape that off and clean out the carb cleaner while I was there as well and same with the uh, airflow meter as well anyway so after filing down what I did find is that when you uh, when someone obviously took off the valve cover gaskets the metal gasket that goes in between the valve cover and the cylinder head they don't quite line up properly and you had something like a millimeter or like a, a millimeter and a half lip where the holes didn't quite line up which is quite awkward because it's very very tight anyway so you can either put a, a little drivel down there or a little sanding wheel or you can try and tap it over a little bit with a screwdriver but make sure you blow out any debris that drops down by the spark plugs if you can because obviously when you take the plugs out that debris will drop down into the cylinder so yeah that's anything to look out for you can feel it with your fingers the lip and you can see if it's going to be a problem or not but um, I had to tap it over on a couple of the uh, spark plug holes to get it out but took it off changed the three spark plugs on the left hand bank which was number three in the center and took the plugs out and there was really corroded there was a lot of carbon build up on the bend of the electrode and maybe that was misfiring on there but it didn't look like, look like it had been changed for a long time so <clears throat> changed the spark plugs over put new ones in and I took the coil pack from this side the right hand side and I changed over with number three cylinder this side so if it did have a fault and then I could check again on the uh, code reader if it's a different cylinder it'd be a lot easier to replace the coil pack on that side rather than taking all the throttle body off again so I changed over put the new plugs in and start up and it run perfect so it was actually the uh, spark plugs which was the problem which they're like a, a platinum plug and people do recommend to use NGK you can get Bosch ones <coughs> which would have been slightly cheaper but it worked out about £11.80 £12 each and I got them from a local company called CPA in Littlehampton and I think I paid I think it's about £79 something like that for the set of six which weren't too bad and it saved me waiting for a couple of days off eBay so uh, yeah put it back together and it run fine so basically that was the outcome and just want to update it and um, not too bad once you get the spark plug hole the proper spark plug spanner or socket then it's not too bad a job and even taking the throttle body off and that it's not too bad either okay hope that's been helpful and uh, see you again soon thank you